about time. Starting to think maybe you fell asleep on the job. Please, my name's Vanessa. And you must be... The new security guard? You're bleeding, by the way. That's nasty. Come on, I know where they keep the first aid kit. Love what you've done with the place. Why Nebraska? Oh, you need a hand? You sure? Here. I'm a certified EMT. So if your heart ever goes out, I'm the one you want to call. Well, Freddy's is on my beat. I like to stay well informed. Also, I really loved this place as a kid. There. That should do it. Vanessa Shelley. Pleasure to meet you, Mike. You doing all right this evening, Mike? Are you good? Are you okay? Is everything copacetic? Do you also know that your eyes are bloodshot and your heart rate's through the roof? And aside from that gash on your arm, which, let's be honest, is pretty freaking bizarre, you've been acting suspicious since the moment you opened the door. Sounds like Freddy's. This place, it gets to people. It's one of the reasons why you're gonna quit. Oh yeah, you security hires? You never last. Have you met them yet? Huh? Well, you tell me. This is somewhere you see yourself 10, 20 years from now? I mean, what do I know? Maybe the benefits are great. <laughs> I didn't think so. Add to that the thing with those kids going missing. Prepare to have your mind blown. The best thing you've seen in your entire life. Wanna dance? Maybe some other time. Sure. Back in the 80s. It was big news. That's why the place shut down. Wow. You really didn't do your homework, did you? And you're not even wearing your badge. Got it. There. Now you're official. Hey. Some friendly advice. Don't let this place get to you. Just do your job and you'll be fine. Hey, Mike. And hello. Hi, Abby. Mike didn't tell me he had a daughter. Ah, uh, well, he didn't tell me he had a sister either. Somebody broke into Freddy's. Recognize these? I know what they are, Mike. It's written on the bottle. Newsflash? If you're too whacked out to remember to lock a friggin' door, accident or not, you're liable. It's called criminal negligence. <laughs> well, then help me. Because the moment I file that report, it's out of my hands. Your brother. You think you saw who took him? I know what crazy looks like, Mike. This isn't it. Not even close. And these? Pining for fun? <laughs> Your sister seems cool. Is this just the two of you? That actually sounds really nice. You and Abby, you still have each other. From where I sit, I'd say you're lucky. Oh, I should go. No more sleeping on the job. When you're at Freddy's, you stay alert. Mike? Guess you figured it out. I think we could use the tables for the fort. I like it in here. Sounds like we need a roof. I'll go see what I can find. Tablecloths. I used to keep them back here for big events. Found them. Don't. I wouldn't do that. They're spring locks. They're on all the older models. They were designed to keep the animatronic parts in place so that a, a person could safely wear the suit. They tend to be pretty unstable. Let's see. Like I said, unstable. You're the one who brought her, Mike, not me. What I can't wrap my head around is why. Change what happened? Did you ask them about this? 
Mike, you need to drop this. Yes. I'm telling you, you need to let it go. This is someone who's trying to help. I'm trying. You're not listening. Abby? Wait, Abby, jump! It's okay, Abby. You just had an accident. You're okay. I'm so sorry. Just go home, Mike. Take care of your sister. You can do whatever you want with your own life, but if you ever bring Abby back here again, I will shoot you. Careful. I managed to stop the bleeding, but probably gonna need stitches. Police supply outpost. I found you and uh you are you're badly hurt. It's complicated. They weren't innocent. Mike. You Mike, please just <laughs> tell me what happened. They want to make her like them. In the 80s, when those kids went missing, the police searched Freddy's from top to bottom. Every inch was accounted for. And they never found them. The man who took them, he was, uh, was a very bad man. Very cruel man. Also a very clever man. He knew the parents would cry and the police would come looking and he knew there's one place they'd never think to check because why would they? Then why would anyone? It's not just their ghosts that are inside of those machines. It's their bodies. You have to understand the, the kids, they don't want to hurt anyone. It's, it's him. He influences them somehow. He took everything from them, but they don't remember. I tried to warn you. I really did try in my own way. But it's too late now. He knows that you're looking for him. He'll be coming. His name is William Afton. He's my no. Not about Garrett, no. At, at least... Not when we met. I'm so, so sorry. Electricity. Electricity is the key. We use these for animal control. There's a taser on your belt. It won't do permanent damage, but it'll mess with the animatronic circuitry. Hopefully buy you some time. No. No, I can't. If he's there, I... I won't be any use to you, believe me. Take these. You need to avoid the front entrance. There's an outlet vent on the east side of the building. That's the best way inside. It's okay. I need to get you somewhere safe so I can go help your brother, okay? That's enough! Drop the knife. I'm not kidding, Dad. The yellow rabbit. He controls them. That's two jobs. I won't let you hurt her too. Oh.